To celebrate 2022 almost being at an end, we're going to be covering some huge 1.20 leaks in this video, which do tease that there could be a huge graphics and lighting update on the way for Minecraft. Along with that as a big celebration of this year, we're also going to be covering all of the 1.20 leaks we've received so far, so that as we go into 2023, we know exactly what to expect. Remember to drop this video a like if you're hyped for 2023, and subscribe for 10 years of good luck in Minecraft. With that being said, let's dive right into it. So let's begin by talking about some of the latest leaks. These are literally uncovering as of when I'm recording this video at the end of December, so I'm not really going to show too much of the information. We're just going to talk about it and speculate about what this could mean. There's been some leaks recently that do claim that there could be a huge lighting and graphics update on the way for Minecraft. This is something we've been talking about ever since the start of 2022, really back all the way until 2020. A lighting and graphics update has been expected by the Minecraft community for years now and Mojang along with Microsoft has been constantly teasing this ever since the super duper graphics pack was cancelled. However, as I said, these recent leaks seem very interesting. They do reveal that in the code for Minecraft, in some of the recent files found in the Bedrock betas, that there is lines of code for coloured lights in Minecraft. The interesting thing about this is that this has been found on mobile devices along with um, consoles and even PC, the Windows version of Minecraft I believe. So this is not only for consoles or not only for the PC version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition, but this is pretty much for every single version of the game. We'll talk about this later on in the video, but it seems that this is not RTX because this is something that is very difficult to run and would only be able to work on consoles and PC, obviously ruling out mobile, but as I said, this has also been found on those devices. This is why many people believe this is not an early sign of RTX coming, this is just an indication that Minecraft itself could be getting an updated lighting engine, or maybe an overhauled graphics system. So it seems that finally, if these leaks are true, I just want to add, Mojang might have finally listened to this feedback and are now working on fully updated lighting and maybe even graphics for Minecraft. That is all the information we have about these current leaks right now, but I'll be sure to keep you all up to date. Now let's move on to the sniffer leaks, right? I'm sure a lot of you have been very patiently waiting for the sniffer, which is obviously the uh, mob that won the 2022 mob vault and is coming to Minecraft as a part of 1.20. It was found recently in the Bedrock update files I believe for one of the recent betas that the sniffer was actually found. But yeah the sniffer has officially been found in the files. It seems like the developers forgot to take the code out or forgot to take the traces of the sniffer out of the files by the time they added the beta to the game so this was luckily found. What this basically means is that the sniffer is probably not too far away. I'm not saying we should expect this like next week or in the next few days but all I'm saying is is that it is here, like the signs are there, the tracks are there, we know that Maljang are working on this. Which is obviously very important, when Maljang reveals a mob at Minecraft Live, in this case a sniffer, when they reveal that animated trailer they most likely have very little to no work done on that mob, because they do not know if it's going to win or not. So I would assume what they're doing right now is some of the earlier things, maybe like the playtesting and obviously the model, the hitbox, the textures, all of that, just so that they can get the sniffer ready and it seems that what we found were early signs of that. So hopefully as we go into 2023, maybe January, or most likely February, we could start seeing more about the sniffer. Now I want to move on to the most exciting uh, Minecraft leak of 2022, which was for RTX. This was leaked by Tom Warren, who did actually find this in the files yet again, Maljang forgot to take out the code, left it in there, and Tom Warren did pick this up along with a few other people who actually got this to work. This was on Xbox and he actually got RTX to work. 
This is a big step forward. As we've said, Maljunk has been trying to hide RTX for a while now. They're trying to work on it in secret. And as we talked about earlier with the lighting update, it's something the community has wanted for a long time. But yeah, this was actually found by Tom Warren. Maljunk are working on this and there's really not much more to say. For the last part of the video, I want to give a bit of credibility to all of these leaks. Now, as I say in all my videos about leaks or things that are not official, confirmed by Maljang. Take all of this with a pinch of salt. Please do not believe that I'm confirming anything in this video. We're just speculating and having a good time talking about the leaks. Now another thing that was leaked around about the same time as RTX was spectator mode. Now what's interesting about this, unlike RTX, is Maljang owned up to it. Like yes, as I guys, we made a mistake and unfortunately we do not plan to add this yet, but it is on the way and here we have it we're now here at the end of 2022 and spectator mode has officially been added to minecraft so this is a good sign that when something leaks it's not always fake or it's not always a lie a lot of the time mojang do genuinely just forget to take code out of the um, early versions of the game before they release them that is why i do believe that mojang is genuinely working on the sniffer right now i do think they could be working on updated lighting for Minecraft and I do also believe that they're still working on RTX for consoles. Although a lot of leaks do come out and some of them are most likely fake, I think more recently some of the leaks have been getting a bit more accurate and as I said earlier, please do not believe every leak you see, but at the same time just keep it in mind as something very very interesting to keep an eye on. But yeah everyone, that is most likely going to be my final video surrounding leaks leaks and rumours for Minecraft in 2022. Let me know which out of all of these is your favourite. Which one are you most excited for? If you found any of these interesting and you would like Maljang to do this, please comment down below, do this. Maljang, let the developers know that you want RTX, you want coloured lighting, and that you want the sniffer in game. It's been long enough. But yeah, I just want to thank you all so much for the support, everyone. And yeah, personally, out of all the leaks we've talked about in this video, I do definitely believe all of them in a tiny little way. I think all of them are definitely believable in certain ways, because obviously it makes sense that Maljang is working on all of this behind the scenes scenes so the fact that some of this has leaked and in the past it's been proven right like with spectator mode i think that's definitely a big indication that what we have here could be credible these leaks could be real and some of this could definitely be true especially the sniffer leak and the rtx leak from earlier in the year i do definitely believe those but as for the lighting update i'm not really sure what this could be check out this video on screen right now i will put a few links up on the screen right now to some of the videos mentioned so if you want to find out more if you're interested check out the videos on screen they contain all the information you need goodbye